Hi everybody! Welcome back to the channel. I'm going to show you how to set up Falcon Pi Player or FPP on a Raspberry Pi from beginning to end. Let's get on the computer and let's get started. We are going to start by downloading the Raspberry Pi imager. Select the link, and there's the imager. So just download for whichever operating system that you are using. In my case, I'm downloading for Windows. Leave Raspberry Pi device as choose device, choose OS. Scroll down, other specific purpose OS. Select that, scroll down, and you see FPP Falcon Play. Select that. You have version 8.4, which is the current version. In this case, we're going to go with the Pi. Select. We're going to choose our storage device, which is our USB device. So we're flashing our SD card. Select that. Select next and yes to continue. So let's just wait for that to download and verify. Let's go ahead and load it into the Raspberry Pi and complete the setup of FPP. The next step is to find the Pi on our network. Let's follow along with the FPP manual. So it's telling me that on my computer, I can enter HTTP colon slash slash FPP, and that should bring it up. Let's go ahead and give that a try. Just enter that address into the address bar and select enter. First option, enable UI password. Recommended default setting is to keep that disabled. Uh, the operating system password, most of the time, just leaving a default is fine. The default password is Falcon. FPP player mode. We're just going to leave this as a player. This is going to be our primary uh, player that's going to be in control of our show. Host name, that's just so that you can identify the device on your network, FPP Pi 4. Name it whatever you want. Once you make changes like this, you will see a button that says Reboot up in the upper corner here. It is recommended to complete the initial setup before pressing the Reboot button. You can add a host description if you would like. You may also add an email address. Most other settings we can leave as default. I do like to change my locale. I'm in the USA. Again, do not hit the reboot button. Go up to the upper right hand corner to where it says finish setup. And click that button and we get an error. We get a DNS error. Here's a workaround. I like to keep this program called Advanced IP Scanner on my computer that allows me to scan all of the devices that are on my internal network. My internal network is 192.168.1.1 through 254. Two, one through 254 are the host devices that are on this particular subnet. Subnet meaning this third number Yours might be different than mine. It might be a two, a three, an eight. Um, but whatever your internal network is, just scan uh, host number one through 254. So let's go ahead and do that now. It is scanning devices on the network. And let's see if it finds our FPP. And it looks like it has found it. 
The IP address is 192.168.1.102. Let's see if we can access it. 192.168.1.102. And we're back. We're back. Our settings are the same. We're good. And we're going to go ahead and click Finish Setup. Well, first thing you want to do on this screen is you want to click on in this red banner, it says Go to Storage Settings. Go ahead and click on the little link that says Storage Settings. Click on Grow File System. I'm going to grow File System and select Yes. We'll go ahead and close the window. Go ahead and go to status control and let's go ahead and set up the network. We'll click on network. What I like to do is I like to have my separate show network on a separate show router. So what I need to do is kind of have two networks set up in FPP. So let's go ahead and set up the wireless network first. So I'm going to go to the WLAN 0, click on that. Everybody's different. You can refer back to the FPP manual to see what kind of network settings you're going to require. Um, this is the settings that I use. I'm just going to go ahead and create a static IP address. So I'm going to make this uh, 192.168.1.9. Subnet mask, 255, 255, 255, And the gateway is going to be 1.1. I'm also going to set up the manual DNS, same as my gateway IP. And secondary out to Google, 8.8.8.8. Uh, .8 now I'm going to go ahead and connect to my wireless network. So this is my wireless. Enter A and update. My wireless network is set up, and that allows my Raspberry Pi to communicate to the internet. Let's go ahead and set up the show network. That's going on to ETH0. ETH0, click on static if you want to keep it static. If not, DHCP is perfectly okay. IP address is going to be 192.168.2.100. Subnet mask, 255.255.255.0. And I'm not going to use a gateway in this case. Update. And it's all set. Good to go. So we're going to reboot. And yes, go ahead and pull it up. So this is the old IP address that we were connecting to. If you were to refresh the page, you're going to get a connection error. Remember, you change the IP address of the device. All right, can't reach it. So you got to enter the new IP. 192.168.1.9. Enter. And we're back. Enable stats, and it's all set to go. All right, one thing I want to point out here in the upper right-hand corner, uh, accessible to my show network, accessible to my home network. One thing I can do is I can actually access this device from my show router, okay? In order to do that, I would just go down here to the bottom. So I'm just going to select it. This is my show router. I'm going to connect. Okay. So now I'm connected wirelessly to my show router. So again, I can access it that way as well so let's go ahead and try it let's open up a new tab and let's enter the ip address to the show network 192.168.2.200 okay we're all set click on help then click on about so if we just click on this button, it says Upgrade FPP. All right, Upgrade Complete. 
Let's close that window. All right, looks like we're all set. We are now on version 8.4.2, and everything is up to date and ready to go. That wraps up this introduction video on how to set up FPP. If you have any questions, just leave it in the comments. Have a great day, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.